The 97th meeting between Old Dominion and William and Mary on paper looks lopsided with the Monarchs owning this series 70 to 26. The tribe, however, well, they've been a little more successful of late, winning nine of the last 12 meetings. To Kaplan Arena we go. Odie's Jeff Jones on the left. His squad 0-3 on the road this season. Tonight, facing a Dane Fisher squad, his guys shorthanded due to injuries. First half of this one, uh, really kind of back and forth. Charlie Williams hitting a three-pointer. He led them with 23 to tie the game at 13. Tribe working as much as an eight-point lead, but Odie stayed with them. That'd be... Uh, of course, Chauncey Jenkins uh, uh, to R.J. Blakeney for the dunk. And then from the arc, they weren't that bad either. Bryce Baker, he's going to spot up for a three-pointer. Monarchs take a five-point lead at halftime, up 41-34. Each team had seven three-pointers in the first half. William and Mary coming out smoking in the second half from the break. Caleb Dorsey, five of eight from the arc himself. That one putting them over the Monarchs 52-51 with just over 12 and a half left in the game. Second half, as we continue, Vashawn Alette off the steal, drive. Oh, tough shot. He had a game high 30 on 13 of 19 shooting. But Old Dominion could never retake the lead. Each team, despite shooting 50% from the field, but ultimately, Monarchs defense, not enough. Tribe won it 84-79. And Monarchs head coach Jeff Jones quite impressed with William & Mary, who was undermanned tonight. I would say it was uh, a lot of fun watching a team that was uh, undermanned in, in, in terms of healthy bodies. You know, obviously they, they, they did a really, uh, you know, a, a really good job and different guys contributed. You know, it's been a little bit of an interesting stretch for us here with the injuries. Um, we haven't practiced five on five since November 14th. Um, we got six guys out with injuries and uh, yesterday for practice we had six healthy players.